The next question is by Yogesh Ingole from Kolkata, India. Associating partners with God is the number one major sin as per Islam. All Hindus do such worship and associate partners with God, Murti Puja. How will it be a major sin for them as they are not Muslim? So if Quran is for all mankind, then such non-Muslims who never knew that such a sin exists will not be held accountable for this sin. And on the day of judgment, will they be punished? So the Yogesh has asked a very important question that the Hindus who don't know about the concept of major sin, the concept of shirk, how will they be held responsible on the day of judgment? Point number one. All the major religions, if you read the scriptures, they talk about monotheism, believing in one God. Whether it be Christianity, whether it be Judaism, including Islam. And including Hinduism. If you read the Hindu scriptures, there are various verses talking about monotheism and talking about not to do shirk. If you read the Hindu scripture, Chandogya Upanishads, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1. It says, Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Sweta Sweta Upanishad, chapter number 6, verse number 9, that Nakasya Kasij, Janitana Chadipa. Of that God, he has got no parents, he has got no mother, he has got no father, he has got no superior. It's mentioned in the Sweta Sweta Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, Natasya Pratima Asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima is a Sanskrit word which means an image. It also means a photograph, it means a portrait, it means an idol, it means a sculpture, it means a statue. So here, Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, number 19 is saying, Natasya Patima Asti, of that God there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no portrait, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. The similar message is given in the Ayurved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, where it says, Natasya Patima Asti, of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no portrait, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. Further, it's mentioned in Yajurve, chapter number 40, verse number 9, Andhatma Pavishanti ya Asambhuti Mupaste. They are entering darkness, those who worship the Asambhuti. Asambhuti in Sanskrit means the natural things, like water, fire, air, and the verse continues, they are entering more in darkness, those who worship the Asambhuti, those who worship the created things, sambhuti means created things like table, chair, idol, etc. So it's clearly mentioned in the Hindu scriptures that there is only one God and you should not worship the natural things, neither should you worship the created things, without doubt. And the Brahma Sutra of Hinduism is Ikkam Brahm Dyutya Naste, Nena Naste Kinchan. Bhagwan eki hai, dusra nahi hai, nahi hai, nahi hai, zara bhi nahi hai. There is only one God, not a second one, not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. So if you read the Hindu scriptures, even the Hindu scriptures believe in one God and Hindu scripture is against idol worship. But unfortunately, the pundits and the scholars of Hinduism, they hide this from the masses for the personal benefit. If you hear my lecture and read my book on similarity between Islam and Hinduism, or you can go to the website zakirnaik.com you will find all these references and coming to a second part of the question that they may not be aware maybe he is a Hindu he may not be a practicing Hindu and he may be doing idol worship but may not be aware mentioned in the scripture Allah says in the Quran clearly in Surah Fusilat chapter number 41 verse number 53 sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim that soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizon until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah takes it upon himself that before a human being dies, he will give this message that there is only one God and he alone should be worshipped very clearly. Whether you deliver the message or not, whether I deliver the message or not, whether we read the holy scriptures or not, Allah has taken it upon himself that he will deliver this message to every human being before the person dies. But because of the society, the person understands the message, but he may say, okay, for now if I follow Islam, I may have to give up my business, I may have to stop drinking alcohol, I may have to stop cheating. So all these associated factors doesn't 
allow him to follow the guidance he has received. So who's to blame? He's to blame. And if a person is left alone without any interference, he will come to the straight path. And there was a research done on two tribes, the Kapauku tribe and the Australian Aborigines. And these two tribes did not come in contact with modern civilization till as late as 1950. And when they went and they did research, they found out that they believed everything, same concept of the creator of God like Islam, but they didn't call themselves Muslims. They believed there was one God, they believed that making images of God is wrong, they believed idol worship was wrong, and for worshipping they did the sajda, they did prostration. It was everything what is in Islam but by name about the concept of God. That means if you let a person without any external influence of human beings, of teachers, of philosophers, they will believe in Tawheed. This is the Deen al-Fitra. Therefore, beloved Prophet said, every child is born in Deen al-Fitra. He is born as a Muslim. Later on, he gets convinced by the elders, by his parents, by his teacher. Then he may start doing idol worship, may start doing fire worship. So, if no external influence is there, he remains on Deen al-Fitra. And whether he gets the message or not, Allah will give him the message directly. Then, of course, on the day of judgment, he will never object to Allah, Allah's justice. He will only say that, I don't mind giving the full wealth in the world to you to save me. Allah said it's too late. He will only say that please give me one more chance. Allah said it's too late. So that's the reason every human being should read the scripture. Read the scripture, he'll come to the straight path, read the Quran and they should worship only one God and should not associate partners with him.